Number one, Number one. Wally. Wally. In the year 2805, the earth is a barren wasteland covered in mountains of trash, and the humans left in 2105 on luxury starliners owned by a mega conglomerate called By and Large that had total control of the world at that point. The movie is for kids and centers around an emotional robot that kinda looks like Johnny Five. When Wally ends up on the starliner called Axiom, we see that the humans aboard the vessel have lost several bones and are morbidly obese, having adapted after centuries of living in microgravity, consuming liquefied food, and leaving all manual labor to be handled by the robots. By and large, everything you need to be happy. Your day is very important to us. Number two, Number two. Eon Flux. Eon Flux. 400 years in the future, disease has wiped out the majority of the Earth's population except for one walled protected city-state, Bregna, ruled by a congress of scientists. Although Bregna is the ideal place to be on this destroyed Earth, people routinely disappear and the population suffers from bad dreams. The story centers on Eon Flux, the top operative in the underground Monacan Rebellion, led by the Handler. When Eon is sent on a mission to kill a government leader, she uncovers a world of secrets. You cloned her. I cloned everybody. Number three. Number three. Immortal. 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 The film takes place in New York City in the year 2095, where genetically altered humans live side by side with unaltered men and women, and where Central Park has been mysteriously encased in an intrusion zone where people who attempt to enter are instantly killed. A strange pyramid has appeared over the city. Inside, the gods of ancient Egypt have judged Horus to cease his immortality. This is when Horus begins seeking a new human host and a woman to bear his child. Number four, Number four. Antiviral. Antiviral. Sid March works for the Lucas Clinic, a company that reaps a tidy profit by infecting willing clients with viruses taken from their favorite celebrities, earning a little extra cash on the side by using his own body to smuggle out popular microbes. Sid finds himself in mortal danger after he infects himself with a pathogen taken from Hannah Geist, a gorgeous superstar who later dies as a result of her illness. This is Brandon Cronenberg's first movie. His father, David Cronenberg, is known for many films including Scanners, Videodrome, The Dead Zone, and The Fly. Number 5. Number five. Zero, theorem. Zero Theorem In this dystopian world, a hugely talented but socially isolated computer operator named Cohen, who lives in a burnt-out church and works for a company called Mancom, is attempting to prove the Zero Theorem which is essentially a mathematical formula showing that the universe ends as nothing, rendering life meaningless. But meaning is what Cohen craves. Yet another dystopian movie from Terry Gilliam. Zero currently equals 93.78926%. Zero must equal 100%. Why would you want to prove that all is for nothing? Number six, Free Jack. In 2009, the super wealthy achieve immortality by hiring bone jackers, mercenaries equipped with time travel devices to snatch people from the past just prior to the moment of their deaths for use as substitute bodies. Those who escape are known as free jacks and are considered less than human under the law. In this dystopian future, most people suffer from poor physical health as a result of rampant drug use and environmental pollution, making them unattractive as replacement bodies. Number seven, Number seven, Escape from New York. The year is 1997. Due to huge crime rates, the United States turns its once great city of New York into a maximum security prison where hardcore criminals are put for life. After Air Force One is hijacked, the president is forced to use the escape pod landing in Manhattan. Ex-Special Forces war hero slash bank robber Snake Plissken is offered his freedom if he can rescue the president but he has to do it in 24 hours or two microscopic capsules implanted in his body will explode. Also, be sure to check out the follow-up, Escape from LA. Number eight, Number eight. In, time. in Time. 
When scientists unlock the secret to immortality, time becomes the new currency, and one desperate man comes under attack from a mysterious group known as the Timekeepers. Thanks to scientific advances, people stop aging at 25, but it comes with a catch. After reaching 25, a person is genetically engineered to live only one more year. You can earn time at work, but you also have to use it for goods and services. Once your time runs out, you die. We're gonna die, Will! Do you wanna die? Shut up! Number 9. Number nine. Metropolis. Metropolis. This movie was made in 1927, but it's set exactly one century later in the year 2027, at least in some versions of the movie. Known as one of the first, if not the first, dystopian movie, Metropolis is a playground to the ruling class living in luxury, but they and the city are sustained by a much larger population of workers who live under the city, moving from their miserable dwellings to their grim, back-breaking 10-hour shifts and back again. Number 10. Number 10. Dread. 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 In the future, the overpopulated and chaotic Mega City 1, with 800 million inhabitants, occupies the former territory between Boston and Washington, and is surrounded by desert. Keeping the peace are the combination policemen judges who make the arrests, determine the guilt, and then execute the sentence. I personally prefer this version of Judge Dredd over the 1995 version because this one does more justice to the comic book. Number 11, Gattaca. Gattaca Corp is an aerospace firm in the future. During this time, society analyzes your DNA and determines where you belong in life. Ethan Hawke's character was born with a congenital heart condition which would cast him out of getting a chance to travel in space. So in turn, he assumes the identity of an athlete who has the genes that would allow him to achieve his dreams of space travel. Of course, space travel isn't real, but they put it in a lot of movies to make us think it is. Number 12, Number 12, Branded. Branded is a dark and mind-bending journey into a surreal dystopian society where corporate brands have unleashed a monstrous worldwide conspiracy to get inside our minds and keep the population disillusioned, dependent, and passive. One man's passion to unlock the truth behind the conspiracy will lead to an epic battle with the hidden forces that really control our world. One of the most ancient and mysterious rituals in human history. The sacrifice of the red cow. Number 13. Demolition Man. With the death of a group of hostages in 1996 during the Los Angeles intensifying war on crime, both cop John Spartan and violent thug Simon Phoenix are sentenced to a state of frozen incarceration known as cryo prison. When Spartan is finally thawed out 36 years later, it's 2032, and Los Angeles is now a pacifist utopia called San Angeles. With Simon Phoenix on the loose again, John must hunt him down while learning about this new world. There you go, Sylvester. This is your redemption for Judge Dredd not beating out Dredd. Number 14. Number 14. City of Lost City of Children. Lost children. In this surreal and bizarre society, children are abducted by a mad and evil scientist named Crank, who wants to steal their dreams to stop and reverse his accelerated aging process. The trouble begins for Crank when his goons kidnap One's little brother. One is played by Ron Perlman. This movie is originally in French, but I will put an English dubbed version in the download pack. Number 15, Number 15. THX 1138. In an undefined future, a dystopian underground society is oriented to production and consumption in the malls. The population is controlled by drugs, and people do not feel affection or sympathy for others. Sexual intercourse is forbidden, and roommates are chosen by a computer. Faceless androids are responsible for the surveillance of the dwellers, and people pray in unichapels for their god, OMM0910, that responds through electronic messages. The worker THX 1138 handles radioactive materials in a factory and lives with his roommate LUH 3417. 
when she decides to stop using drugs and replaces the drugs of THX with harmless pills, THX becomes emotional again. This is George Lucas's first feature-length film. Number 16, Minority Report. In the year 2054, crime is virtually eliminated from Washington, D.C., thanks to an elite law enforcing squad called Precrime. They use three gifted humans called Precogs with special powers to see into the future and predict crimes before they even happen. John Anderton heads Precrime and believes in the system wholeheartedly. However, one day the Precogs predict that Anderton will commit a murder himself. This is based on the short story by Philip K. Dick, a deceased author who was always sure to deliver a good dystopian tale. A few other movies in this list were inspired by him as well. I'll get the two minutes before I hit the alarm. Number 17, Handmaid's Tale. In a highly religious and fascist future America, Kate is a criminal, guilty of the crime of trying to escape from the US, and is sentenced to become a handmaid. The job of a handmaid is to bear the children of the man to whom she is assigned. After being trained in the proper way to behave, Kate is assigned as handmaid to the commander, but Kate is attracted to Nick, the commander's chauffeur. At the same time, a resistance movement begins to challenge the regime. Number 18, Number 18. Idiocracy. Idiocracy. An army librarian named Joe is decided to be absolutely average in every way. He has no relatives and he has no future, so he's chosen to be one of the two test subjects in a top secret hibernation program. Him and a hooker named Rita were to awaken in one year, but things go wrong and instead they wake up in 2505. By this time, society has been completely dumbed down and the world is barely run by morons. Joe and Rita are the smartest people alive. It says on your chart that you're fucked up. Uh, you talk like a fag, and your shit's all retarded. Rehabilit rehabilit rehabilitation. Why well, you keep trying to read that word? You a fag? Number 19, Number 19. V for Vendetta. For vendetta. This takes place in an alternate vision of Britain, in which a corrupt and abusive totalitarian government has risen to complete power. During a threatening run-in with the secret police, a young woman named Evie is rescued by a vigilante named V, a caped figure both articulate and skilled in combat. He wears the mask of a vilified would-be terrorist of British history, Guy Fox, and leads the revolution. Evie becomes his unlikely ally, newly aware of the cruelty of her own society and her role in it. The security of this nation depends on complete and total compliance. Number 20, Number 20. 12, monkeys. 12 monkeys. In 1996, an unknown and lethal virus wiped out 5 billion people. Only 1% of the population has survived by the year 2035 and is forced to live underground. A convict reluctantly volunteers to be sent back in time to 1996 to gather information about the origin of the epidemic and locate the virus before it mutates so that scientists can study it. Unfortunately, Cole is mistakenly sent to 1990, six years earlier than expected, and is arrested and locked up in a mental institution. Don't you just hate when that happens? What a bummer. What year is this? What year do you think it is? 1996. That's the future, James. Do you think you're living in the future? 1996 is the past. No, 1996 is the future. This is 1990. Number 21, Number 21. Running Man. Running Man. In the year 2019, America is a totalitarian state where the favorite television program is The Running Man, a game show in which prisoners must run to freedom to avoid a brutal death. Having been made a scapegoat by the government, an imprisoned Ben Richards has the opportunity to make it back to the outside again by being a contestant on The Deadly Show, although the twisted host, Damon Killian, has no intention of letting him escape. Running Man, America's favorite game show. Number 22, 22, a scanner darkly. 
In a totalitarian society in the near future, an undercover detective is working with a small-time group of drug users trying to reach the big distributors of a brain-damaging drug called Substance D. His assignment is promoted by the recovery center, New Path Corporation, and when Bob begins to lose his own identity and have schizophrenic behavior, he is submitted to tests to check his mental conditions. Food for thought. This movie features Alex Jones, who is accused of many by not being a genuine alternative news outlet, but actually working for Time Warner. This movie was released by a company owned by Time Warner. Can't you figure this out? Number 23, Number 23 the, Congress. the Congress. More than two decades after rising to stardom with The Princess Bride and starring as Ginny and Forrest Gump along the way, an aging actress, Robin Wright, playing a version of herself, decides to take her final job, preserving her digital likeness for future Hollywood productions. Her digital clone will be controlled by the studio and will star in any film they want with no restrictions. After Robin's digital double is immortalized with the sci-fi franchise Rebel Robot Robin, she heads to Miramount Studios to renew her contract to find that Abrahama City, where Miramount is located, is now an animated zone where individuals use chemicals to become animated avatars of themselves. Number 24, Metropia. We're in Europe. It's the year 2024. Oil reserves and other natural resources are depleted, poverty is widespread, and a giant trans-European rail network owned by Trex Corporation, known as the Metro, is the only legal form of transportation. When a disgruntled call center worker named Roger is forced to use the Metro to travel after his bike was destroyed, he begins to hear a voice in his head that leads him to unravel a worldwide surveillance and mind control conspiracy that uses organic computer chips which are introduced into your system via shampoo. Number 25, 25, 25. Blade Runner, Blade Runner. In the year 2019, Los Angeles has become a dark and depressing metropolis filled with urban decay. Rick Deckard, an ex-cop, is a Blade Runner. Blade Runners are people assigned to assassinate replicants. The replicants are androids that look like real human beings. When four replicants commit a bloody mutiny on the off-world colony, Deckard is called out of retirement to track down these androids. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. Number 26, Number 26 Soylent, Green. Soylent Green. The year is 2022. New York City has become overpopulated with 40 million people and pollution has caused the temperature to rise and all natural resources have been destroyed, leaving 40 million people starving. The Soylent Company has created a new food product called Soylent Green, said to be made out of sea plankton. When Detective Thorne is assigned to investigate the brutal murder of a corporate official of the Soylent Company, he uncovers the horrible truth about the ingredients of Soylent Green. Number 27, Logan's Run. In the year 2274, the survivors of a holocaust now live within a domed city that is sealed off from the outside world. In the domed city, men and women live in a society where you can only live until you are 30 years old due to population control and limited resources. So the people have two choices. They can either take part in an extermination ceremony called carousel, where they are promised a rebirth, or they can go on the run and try to escape the domed city. Number 28, Dark City. John Murdoch awakens alone in a strange hotel to find that he has lost his memory and he is wanted for a series of brutal and bizarre murders. While trying to piece together his past, he stumbles upon a fiendish underworld controlled by a group of beings known as the Strangers, who possess the ability to put people to sleep and alter the city and its inhabitants. Now Murdoch must find a way to stop them before they take control of his mind and destroy him. What do they want from me? Well, let's just say that you are the subject of their experiment. 
We all are. Number 29, ZPG. ZPG stands for Zero Population Growth. In the future, the Earth has become so polluted that people need to wear breathing masks when they go outside. All animals are extinct including pets, and people eat a bright colored paste out of plastic containers. Severe overpopulation is affecting all available resources, and the government decides to ban human reproduction for 30 years in order to reduce the population. Breaking this law will result in the death penalty for both parents and the newborn by way of suffocation under a plastic dome. Meet Carol and Russ. After making love one night, Carol decided to avoid the abortion machine in the bathroom and ends up pregnant. After the child is born, Carol and Russ must do everything they can to keep the baby a secret. My fellow citizens, because it has been agreed by the nations of the world that the earth can no longer sustain a continuously increasing population as of today, childbearing child is, is here with forbidden. Number 30, Number 30. The, giver. The, giver. the Giver. I give this one a lot of credit and prefer this movie way above The Hunger Games, The Divergence, The Maze Runners. In fact, this movie, which is based on the book written in 1993, is most likely the inspiration for all these young adult dystopian movies coming out lately. Jonas lives in a seemingly idyllic world of conformity and contentment. When he begins to spend time with the giver, an old man who is the sole keeper of the community's memories, Jonas discovers the dangerous truths of the community's secret past and realizes that he must escape their world to protect himself and those that he loves, a challenge no one has ever completed successfully. Number 31, Number 31. A Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange. In an England of the future, Alex and his droogs spend their nights getting high at the Karova milk bar before embarking on a little of the old ultraviolence, which includes beating and raping helpless victims. After he's jailed for bludgeoning the cat lady to death, Alex submits to a behavior modification program to earn his freedom. He's conditioned to despise violence. After he returns to the world defenseless, Alex becomes the victim of his prior victims. Number 32, Number 32. Equilibrium. Equilibrium. In a futuristic world, a strict regime has eliminated war by suppressing emotions. Books, art, and music are strictly forbidden, and filling is a crime punishable by death. Cleric John Preston is a top-ranking government agent responsible for destroying those who resist the rules. When he misses a dose of prosium, a mind-altering drug that hinders emotion, Preston, who has been trained to enforce the strict laws of this new regime, suddenly becomes the only person capable of overthrowing it. Number 33, 1984. This film is set during April of 1984, in a post-atomic London, the capital city of the repressive totalitarian state of Oceania. Winston Smith is a government bureaucrat whose job is rewriting history and erasing people from existence. He ends up breaking the law by falling in love with Julia. Attempting to escape, Winston and Julie are tracked down by the Thought Police and re-educated into loving the state. With the way things are panning out in this world, George Orwell, like Ayn Rand with her Atlas Shrugged, is considered more of a prophet than an author. The term Big Brother was coined in this story. 